have Avi, yeah. This is the fake Austin Powers, the spy who cloned me. <laughs> and you're watching Lizards of Wisdom Television. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Hey, crazies. Welcome to another episode of Low TV. Just insane here. We're up in San Francisco today for the second game of the three-game series between the Giants and our L.A. Dodgers. Go Dodgers. I'm way out here in deep center field. This is usually during the game where you're going to see our stud, Matt Kemp, running full speed this way, not even looking behind him, over the shoulder boulder holder, 421 feet, jumping, catching the ball, and crashing into the fence as he does. <laughs> The stadium has opened up, fans are starting to roll in, and as we pan around, uh, I'm definitely seeing a lot of hometown boys from L.A. Dodgers showing up. All right, I'm here with Josh Sushan, and we're going to be talking quickly about the state of the Dodgers-Giants rivalry. We're going all the way back to one of our shows back in 1998. We're uh, over at Candlestick Park, and uh, it was it was a pretty mean, pretty mean crowd back then. Almost similar to how the the Dodger fans in LA are real tough on the Giants. Josh, how how is the the state of the rivalry changed here at the new park? You know, I think that the rivalry is never going to be what it was in New York with the Brooklyn days because it was in the same city. And nowadays, I, I think that it's not like the Yankees Red Sox. It's maybe like the Cardinals and Cubs. But right now, it's an interesting time because I always feel like for whatever team is at the bottom of the rivalry, those fans tend to be more angry than the team that's at the top. And so during the 70s and 80s, the Dodgers dominated the rivalry so much that there was a feeling for the Giants that, well, we knew that we're not going to make the playoffs, but anybody but the Dodgers, which is where the beat LA sort of came from. And so people would come out to Candlestick Park, and it was an angry place, and it was a dump. It was a horrible, miserable, cold place to be. And they sort of took out their frustrations, and they just wanted to see anybody but the Dodgers win. And then things changed somewhere around 93 or so once Barry Bonds arrived and that's when the Giants started to go to the playoffs a lot more often and so they became the team that was at the top and I think that's when you started to see a bit of a cultural shift where the fans at Dodger Stadium became more angry they're the ones who became more agitated they started to develop more anger and hostility toward the Giants because their team was not on top anymore not on a regular basis and the Giants team was going to the playoffs and going to the World Series and now the last few years, the Dodgers have started to once again get above the Giants in terms of making the playoffs two of the last three years. And the Giants have been going through a rebuilding system. So it's, it's an interesting to look through the years, how it changes. And the other thing that's changed dramatically, as you pointed out about Candlestick, is this beautiful ballpark that the Giants have. And I honestly believe that Number one, it's more expensive to come to games here. And so you have a different clientele that's showing up at games. They have more money. They're not as angry. Maybe it's not quite as blue collar. It's more of a white collar crowd. And so I think that you're not going to have as much fighting. You're not going to have as much anger. Plus, it's just nice. And so you act like a more civilized person in a place that's nice, in a place that's you want to be respectful of your surroundings. Whereas at Candlestick, you didn't care. You just felt like an animal because it was such a horrible place to be. And so, now we still saw a fight in last night's game, and so that's still going to happen in the bleachers, and you're still going to have the chanting of the beat LA. It's still going to be a good rivalry, but I think that this ballpark has actually mellowed people out a little bit, so they're not quite, uh, again, they're still intense, but it's not quite as maybe dangerous as it was at Candlestick. That sums it up real good, and we've, we're off to a good series start already. Dodgers got one win under them already. I'm looking for a sweep. I'm feeling good. How about you, Josh? Uh, the definitely a possibility, although Tim Lincecum is starting on Wednesday. Lincecum's a very, very good pitcher, and right now the Dodgers don't know who's going to pitch that game. So uh, I think the Dodgers should actually just forfeit the game. <laughs> Not. All right, this is one of the unique portions 
of AT&T Park. As you can uh, see behind me, we got fans that don't even have to buy tickets to the game, but yet they can still watch the game through this special viewing area here. And we're looking at what could be a premonition of this whole series right now. What's it called? Sweep. 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 We already got game one. Just need two more. Sweep. And I'm here with Ramon Trancoso uh, talking a little bit about the Dodgers-Giants rivalry. How's it feeling right now after that first win last night? Uh, I feel great, you know. That's, that's, the, that's the way it's the... To the win, you test the win, you know, especially on this team in our division. We have to play as hard as we can, and we won last night. It's a great game, you know, after we lost those three games there at home. So we got the opportunity to win tonight, tomorrow too, and beat, the, and beat the Giants. The last two outings for Broxton here last night and back at home, he had a little extra work done on the mound from the grounds crew. How's his toe doing? Well, the toe is doing fine. and. I think a big problem, a big reason why the uh, the toe thing cropped up is because don't worry about it. I'll pitch this way, you know, and, and he, you know, may have been a little tougher for him, or he may have irritated it because he had to dig out of a hole. Yeah, so you know, we basically, or Honeycutt said, you know, you got a hole there that you're uncomfortable with, have him fill it up, and, and you know, it seems to. Uh, seems to work and you know hopefully that'll you know keep from having to have that problem have that issue again for a while I mean it's an issue that's going to come back you know until the winter time and he's able to get off it for a period of time but but right now we're we're trying to you know keep it as safe as possible for him Close it out here up in San Francisco. Uh, it's been a great, great weekend. Uh, actually, in the middle of the week. It felt like a weekend because we were having so much fun. Middle of the week, uh, three game series, tough, tough loss today. Uh, lost it in extra innings. Hey, we took two out of three. Looking good. We'll see you back in LA.